Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about the shift register in the Click PLC. And with every shift register, what we are doing is actually moving bits within uh, a range of, of that we specify. And in the Click PLC, we use the control relays and we have three inputs for our shift register. We have the data, we have the clock, and we have a reset. Now the data just indicates whether or not that bit is seen or not, or on or off. And in their case, the beginning bit is C2, and the ending bit is C7. So what we're gonna do is shift those bits, or shift uh, those five bits in a certain sequence. And that sequence depends on whether you specify um, if you went C7 to C2, it would shift it backwards, or in our case, C2 to C7, we're shifting it forward or up into the bits. And then we have a clock bit flag, and that clock bit flag actually tells you the timing in which that bit will shift. So on the leading edge of that clock, the bit will, will turn on if our data is on, and it will shift that register over one. So if it bit zero, 00 was on and we shift it, it will go to zero 01, then zero 02, then zero 03, then zero 04, etc. In our case, C2, it goes to C3, C4, C5, C6, C7. And then our other last input to our shift register is a reset. And the reset will actually clear all the bits and put them to zero. So as you see up on my screen, I have, um, we're online to the PLC and it's in run mode and I will call up our, our data register, our data view here and you can see that C2 is already on so that means that our clock is actually clocking right now and we're currently right now we're moving zeros because our input here is off so it's moving zeros and actually shifting those bits within these parameters so we're going from c2 here down to c7 now i've included c1 and c8 so you know that they're not doing anything so if we were to turn um, x1 on here which gives us some data and we'll do that right now we'll hit the right all okay yes we will do that and what you'll see is it's on on and every second it will actually turn on and you notice that c8 does not come on because it's not there um, it's not part of that shift register so if we turn this off and we will actually write those you can see now it's cycling and turning them all off so it's just a bunch of bits being shifted within that register some um, if we want okay and we have uh, in the program what we could do is actually add additional uh, bits um, to that register so we don't have to always track it at a certain point in time we can uh, use bits further on down so if we want to say x5 is on and then we can do c4 so instead of coming in at c2 here we can come in at c4 and turn things on and we do that by ensuring that we don't mess up what X1 has in the starting. And we put a C4 here and then a ceiling contact here. So it can still show those bits cycling through. And let's just turn that on again. And we'll fill that up. And you will actually see as it comes down and goes to C4, you see it keeps going. Um, so we don't lose any bits. But if we did turn on X5, then it would actually turn on those bits as well. So let's turn our X1 off. They start filling up with zeros. And what we're going to do is uh, we'll call up X5. And we will turn it on. So you can see X5 now turns on, which turns on uh, C4. So from here on down, we're actually turning it, turning it on. Now we'll turn X5 off. Write those values. And you can see now 
our outputs now come off. So we can add additional locations where we're actually picking up the inputs. The last one here is our, our reset and X3 will actually reset and turn everything back to zero. So looking at the click PLC in the help file, you'll actually see that what we have is a timing chart. So there's my X1, X2 for my clock, X3 for my reset. And an easier way of looking at that, because this is all time along this time, and this is on or off. So if we look at uh, the, the timing diagram, we see that with the clock bit on the leading edge, it'll actually turn on the first bit of our register. Then as the, the next clock um, hits what we do is we shift that over then the next one hits we shift that over so you see we have through time we're shifting those bits further on down so what can we do with this well typically we use it for conveyor belt um, applications and in the um, graphic I have here you can see my shift register and we're shifting bits through here and typically what we do is we pick up the encoder off of a conveyor belt to keep track of the timing so we know exactly where those um, parcels in our case are. So we have sensor A here that's picking up actually the parcel that it's too high and it tracks it along until we get to where our blow off station is and then it activates a air blow off it puts it down. All right. So that's it for today. If this video has been helpful for, helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up. And to keep up to date with all the videos, um, you can subscribe to our channel. Now our website is located at accautomation.ca and additional information about this uh, video and shift registers on the Click PLC can be found, found there. And if you subscribe to our website, we have free, uh, two free eBooks for you. The first one is Understanding PLC Numbering Systems, which is a good paper on um, basically breaking this down and we can see how those bits relate to words. And also robust data logging for PLCs is also free to you. And also when you subscribe, every time we update our website, you will get updated with a quick email saying, here's some new information. All right, thanks for watching.